this ultrasound study segment uh, relates to the evaluation of the prostate by transabdominal ultrasound using 3.5 megahertz probe. This is the urinary bladder in transfer section. And uh, this is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section. Now, the three volume urinary bladder volume is around 50 ml and uh, this is an adequately filled, uh, neither underfilled nor overfilled urinary bladder. Now the importance is that uh, with time that I have learned is that performing uh, the prosthetic ultrasound with an overfilled urinary bladder or underfilled urinary both underfilled or uh, overfilled urinary bladder, over distended urinary bladder makes your life tough for the evaluation of the prostate. Whereas, now you see, I just, I'm just giving a slight angling of the, uh, angling the probe towards the patient's feet and I get the transfers of the prostate. This is the transfers of the prostate with no Intact very prosthetic fat, no calcification seen. This is the prosthetic urethra, and this is the substance of the prostate in transverse section. Now, I will give 90 degree probe, uh, angle to the probe, and we will get the trans longitudinal of the, of the prostate. Now, this is the longitudinal of the prostate. It measures 5.6 centimeters by 4.6 centimeters by 5.1 centimeters within uh, uh, its weight uh, by this uh, by these parameters is 70.8 centimeters square. Uh, grams, I will say rather. So the prostate is enlarged and shows uh, normal should not exceed more than uh, 40 grams. This prostate measures about 70 grams. Now, when you see these tiny calcifications around the prostatic urethra in a wing-shaped pattern. This is called corpora myresia of no clinical significance. Now we will rescan this patient with an uh, overfilled urinary bladder, which is a routine. Uh, and then we will see that uh, what difference does it make. Ideally, you should scan the prostate with adequately filled urinary bladder, which is, it should not be overfilled or underfilled. Thank you.